Hello guys! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you guys are enjoying your holiday vacation. And as we all know that 2024 is fast approaching, so we would like to take this opportunity to share of all those things that have happened in our lives in this year. We would like to start from the month of January. That was the month that we got married, our wedding day. And for us, it is very memorable wedding for us, even if it was just a very simple wedding. But one of the reasons why it's because during like a couple of days before our wedding, Koba broke his leg. And it was really surprising for my family to see Kuba on live that what happened to his legs? Like why, are, why is he walking like that? Is he okay? It was really questionable for them and I explained that because Kuba was playing the game and that's the reason why he broke his leg. That incident, our wedding day, was very memorable for me. What about you? Very tragic for me. Why? Double tragedy. Why it's double tragedy? Like the first is like getting married and the second thing like broken leg and once you will connect those things together it's like a tragedy like super duper Why well, you consider it tragedy when it's not me? Tragedy? When I don't say it's tragedy? Is it not? Do you regret of marrying me? Of course not <laughs> So why it's a tragedy? So <laughs> I think every man are scared of getting married <laughs> Right? I guess so Okay so that was our first memorable year for us together, getting married together. And it happened as well that after our wedding, we stayed here in, a, in his parents' house for a couple of months. Because Kuba that time also needs to heal himself. He, he was like out away from work for three months. And he wasn't just staying here while I was working um, night shift as a virtual assistant that time. First to third month of this year it was really hard for me especially about the adjusting of the culture there are a lot of things that are very shocking for me and a lot of things that are very unacceptable for me knowing everything with the transportation because it's new for me so it also happened in the following months that after kuba got healed from his broken leg he was teaching me what are the processes of like what are the things that we should be done whenever we are riding trans transportations here especially trams and trains we have also showed it to you um on it on the video previous months and what has happened well after i have got my leg like in a good shape it was cured like that time started spring in the Czech Republic and I started when showing the countryside, the area here in the Czech Republic, Czech Republic also teaching her about how it <laughs> works here, how to handle the things and also that time when I got a new job here in the Czech Republic like a teacher of English which meant she had to travel like every day to the different city and there was her school and students which she were teaching that was actually a very good opportunity for Gwen because with that she could really learn how to work and how to live here including transportation, like going to the city, getting the groceries, everything like of course for many of people it sounds like regular and all of us can really do that but once you are in the different country with a different language, different currency, different structure you are totally lost and what I did I throw Gwen to the fire pit of hell and she had to deal with those things by herself yeah and I guess it was like a very good teacher and it even happened that I got lost and for hours and I was really crying because I was just walking for four hours in the entire city and like I was just alone by myself and I couldn't ask for help for anyone because they don't speak English and it's really hard and I hope how I already did not know as well how can I ride trauma and trains because I don't know how it works so I get lost I tried to walk for four hours and I got lost I went to the forest and I was crying all by myself that's that hard-headed part of Gwen when I was telling her are you okay and she was yes I am okay but she was lying to me she was mad at me for not helping her then I found out like she's like walking under the bridge which is known for under that bridge are living like homeless people it's quite dangerous that time I was still at work luckily my boss was not around I just took the car and riding for Gwen there she was sitting there on the rail next to the road in a tears, scared <laughs> and 0% battery in her phone <laughs> so I just put her to the car 
took her to the train station and then she continued her way back here to our house. Then the things already started settling down. Gwen was already getting keen on life here, getting keen on her new work, so which meant to make the things easier for both of us. About commuting to work, we decided we will move to the another city. We rented a little apartment with uh, two rooms, which is more than suitable for both of us. It's more than enough for us. That's the place where we settle for now. Yeah, but for me, I, I think it took me six to seven months for me to get um, keen on living in the Czech Republic. I mean, I'm really not that mastered, but it took me six to seven months to adjust a little bit. <laughs> adjust a little bit. And up until now, I'm still trying my best to adjust everything, but there are still things that's really not okay with me, so I'm still having a hard time. Ivan is actually really a master here, much more better master <laughs> than me, because for me, I really don't commute by bus, by trains, by trams, by those, but once we are going somewhere together by those, I'm really lost about buying the tickets, where is the station, where we are supposed to go. It's because of that I only commute by car, so Gwen is always the one handling all those things. Like, that's crazy, foreigner teaching me and screaming at me, like, where are you going? It's not there, get the ticket, you have to put the car there. And now, I would say that I know everything in the trauma city right now, <laughs> and Kuba is still struggling there, and sometimes he's like lost himself. Those couple of months up until the summer, we were just walking, there were just a couple of trips around the Czech Republic, but the main, one of the biggest adventures which happened to us came in June when we decided we are going to get a vacation and we are going to travel. And for our vacation destination, we picked, I guess, one of the best places we could. We picked a little island in the Greece named Corfu. We spent there about like five days. Every day was different. It all started, we rented a motorbike and every day we were planning to visit different places, different beaches. Like. It's like we were city hopping. Like, I mean, like we're jumping to different cities and different places every day. And it was really a good idea as well because um, Corfu Island is just a very small island and if you're gonna just go there in one city, it, the vacation will never be worth it and there are a lot of places that you can actually visit in Corfu. It was also my second time of like second country um, I ever visited. First is Czech Republic and second Greece and it was really memorable for me as well because I would say that um, the transportation, it's like the vibes are really the same as in the Philippines and I was very happy that I was there and I was able to experience another country in Europe and it was a very amazing experience. That's what the old traveling is around like enjoying the new places, enjoying the new culture, trying the native cuisine, different foods, like talking with those people. You will really find out once you are in the different country the people are really different. Maybe if the race is like the same, like if it's white or Asian or Turkish, still if it's a different country, the people are totally different, different and you are yeah. really enjoying talking with them, that's the best thing about traveling. Maybe because of the climate, like temperature, it really affects a lot of people, like those people who are living in a tropical country are happy as compared to those people who are living in a temperate country. If we compare like Greeks and Czechs, I would say Greeks are best. Like better than checks. No, that's what I like. say. Like the hot temperature and the sun, sun shining will make happy people, and cold temperatures and cloudy weather makes me. Yeah, but again, personality is like we do have different kinds of like like that but I would say specifically about smiling because Greeks are very smiling compared to Czechs so maybe because it's very cold here and people doesn't like smiling at all because their mouths are freezing after coming home from our vacation I got a huge punch from the reality because I had to go back to work yeah me too. And <laughs> no you did not oh yeah I had two months of vacation yeah teachers right? Yeah, but teachers. it was not paid. 
Mm-hmm. It was not paid because I was just working a freelancer, just just a freelancer here. It's like um, I was working under agency, so that's why every every day I have to transfer to different schools because I was assigned with different schools. It's like um, there are a lot of agencies here in the Czech Republic, and they're hiring native speakers who can teach to different schools because these schools are in need of English speakers who can. Um, teach conversational English so I had two months of vacation at time because schools were closed during summer for two months but it was not paid because I had to pay my own like everything my insurances my taxes as well as my social security it was hard time for Gwen but it was like still easy for us to handle Gwen enjoyed her two months like another vacation at home being bored and waiting for me since <laughs> morning to evening because that time at my work started harvest season for a farmers once the farmers will start harvest season if you are married to a farmer you are going to see him once in the morning when he's going to work and once you are going to sleep because that time he's coming from work yeah are you not gonna ask me how was it how was my experience of marrying a farmer like not coming home Sometimes at night because of harvest. No, I don't want to know that. Thank you. <laughs> it was really hard for me, actually, like very hard for me. I was very sleepless because I that didn't, I'm this kind of a person who cannot sleep if I have I have no one beside me because I got used to it um, growing up with my siblings and we're sleeping together. And sometimes I, because I'm scared of dark places. <laughs> can't sleep when it's very dark. I can't sleep if it's dark when I have someone beside me, but if it's I'm alone, I cannot sleep. So it was really horrible for me. Kuba was out of I think two weeks of harvesting, so sometimes he's four days of like overnight from work. So I don't sleep as well for four days. <laughs> right. So I don't actually complain that he's working overnight, but still it was really hard for me to sleep at night that he's not here. You have no reason to complain. <laughs> I have reason to complain. <laughs> What's next happen? Um... And after that, during this year, we already figured out we would really like to move on this whole thing about our YouTube channel. We would like to make it better. We would like to grow it more, become like successful. And then we started also like focusing more for the video. So we were trying different things about still traveling here in the Czech Republic during that time we had day off during the weekends and everything was going like fine i was still uh, giving tours gwen around here in the trade republic also what happened gwen also found there is so many filipinos living here in the trade republic gwen found many female friends from here also together we decided we will go for another vacation which happened in the austria me and Two other couples decided we will go to Vienna and we will spend there like a weekend. What we were doing there? <laughs> I, I didn't enjoy much actually there in Vienna. It was very cold and it was just walking around the city and there's nothing interesting. Like, yeah, it was very interesting the buildings. Like they have this modern building compared to Prague. It's more on traditional buildings. I enjoyed in Prater. It was one ride when you were very bad at me because we ride and it was almost died. <laughs> And it was really like unsafe. I enjoyed my time that time with my Filipino friends. They're totally crazy. But I guess if it's we are with a husband, we are totally different. We have to adapt from our husband because if we are just girls, only Filipinas, we are totally crazy together. But since we were we were having a husband, like Czech husband who doesn't like making like noise and fun because we Filipinos, we love it's fun for us if it's noisy. If you're gonna make some noise. But Czech people are very quiet and don't like noise, so we really have to limit ourselves. So I would say me and the girls didn't enjoy much because we were not that noisy in Vienna. <laughs> Another important point which happened in this year period was that I was actually mad what kind of work Gwen is actually working. She was a teacher, which meant like during that time, during the day, she was teaching in the schools for five hours five six hours but then she came home and immediately she had to start preparing for the tomorrow lessons which meant 
she spent whole afternoon preparing other lessons. It was like horrible thing looking at Gwen that she was tired and more, more horrible thing was that she was not getting paid for that extra other thing. Like I understand maybe that's what teacher's work is about, but that's what really I was mad about. Which meant we started or I started looking for a different work for Gwen and we did it. We found the work in the kindergarten. But maybe before anything else, you have to be, you have to be ready because if we are in the Philippines in the future and you want to be, you want me to be a teacher, that's the same. Like we have to spend extra hours and you have to help me as well. And you want to be a teacher? <laughs> well, I don't really know. I don't know, but I don't really want to be a teacher there. <laughs> but yeah, I got a job, a teaching job here, which is better compared to my previous one that I was just a freelancer but this time before I was um, teaching English to high school students but now I am teaching English to kindergartens and the school has to provide all the needs that I need like all of my needs for example social security insurances and in the taxes so it's really nice that I was able to get this job and I was really waiting for it for the whole year and finally, I got this job right now. I only spend like sometimes I go to work for four hours, three hours. I only have to cater 31 hours per week. And it's not really um, stressful for me. But you know, I am a very complicated person. So what happened? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Starting the new job for Gwen in the kindergarten, she got the whole afternoon like nothing to do, which became like boring for her. So she found out another part-time online she managed to do that like for about two weeks and then Gwen got burned out like she really did not manage to do those things like in the morning being a teacher in the afternoon doing the part-time believing she can make it she was really like focused for that motivated Fast approaching, the winter was coming again. The most favorite season for Gwen, mm -hmm. right? No. <laughs> Cold weather, snowing no, all no. the time. If it's not snowing, it's raining. It's horrible. <laughs> it was connecting with that. We were doing like winter activities with Gwen. I was trying to teach Gwen how to do skiing. It really did not work because it was just a couple of tries and it was actually Gwen's second attempt to try skiing but actually she was able to ride down from the hill she could hold the balance I can say she can mark it as an uh, achievement uh -huh. in this year <laughs> I was very embarrassing you know I'm not interested anymore with skiing <laughs> not anymore? no, not anymore it's so tiring oh, oh my god or trying ice skating next could time could be could be i want to be a ballerina while skating mm -hmm. <laughs> malay <laughs> filipina ballerina is yeah. it going to be first ever no there are so many filipina who are ballerina really yeah good <laughs> Slowly going to the end of the year happened one of the best things which can happen to everyone. We became uncle and aunt. Yeah. Well, for me, it's the first time being uncle, but Gwen is aunt like many, many times. But my <laughs> sister gave a birth. The little creature was brought to this world. Like that was really nice, like feeling like it's always like very nice feeling when there is a baby and now the whole family will gather together and looking at the kid and everyone is going to help each other with the kid like that was pretty nice also during the christmas time we suggested we are going to spain on the christmas day together here in my parents house so we were here since the morning on the 24th of december we were going to the cemetery which is like a tradition during the christmas you are going to cemetery light up the candles for those who cannot be unfortunately in between us anymore then there is a traditional christmas dinner which consists from fried fish fried carb and potato salad 
also many different kind of soups if it's fish soup, sauerkraut soup, pea soup and then the most exciting part opening Christmas gifts so far for you baby how was 2023? I can say it was the year full of stress full of so many achievements full of happiness I can say it was very huge lesson for both of us for our relationship as well mm -hmm. because that time we can say it was the first year we really started living together we still don't know up until now each other that much we are still getting to know each other because previous two years we spent in the long distance relationship of course you will get to know each other in the long distance relationship during these messages and video calls but that pure thing of getting to know each other is starting happening once you are together next to each other living together learning how to live together learning how to manage your wife's attitude anger issues <laughs> madness <laughs> craziness all those things like that's that mm -hmm. hard part for men yeah. but i can say i managed all of this and i'm proud of myself will you manage it again next year let's see <laughs> is it going to be more i don't know we'll see depends on my attitude or mood mm -hmm. yeah. there is so many <laughs> Hidden personality is still hiding, <laughs> right? Now, how was the 2023 for you? Not that bad. <laughs> Not that bad. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of challenges for me, like especially adjusting from here and feeling homesickness to my home country, as well as getting stress of finding job and getting stress of finding stable job and stress of money like how to handle things about money things because you know i am um, sometimes supporting my family in the philippines that's really how we are filipinos and a lot of things i would say not bad not good and in between at the same time i enjoy this year at the same time i i know it's life is really not always rainbows there's always rain right it is yeah, but for me, I am looking forward for next year. I hope that because we are already planning to go home to the Philippines, but not next year, but I think next year will be the start of everything. And I'm very excited for that because I would say that it's a really kind of happiness that I will be able to experience. And for Kuba as well, that I would really like him to experience living in the Philippines, how it looks like though it's really hard living there so much. And I don't know if Kuba would manage everything there, but we'll see. He's this kind of a person who he's okay with everything. So, <laughs> is it a threat? I hope it's not a threat, but I'm not afraid of your yeah, I'm gonna take care of you there. Mm -hmm. That's right, guys. So, starting the year 2024 <laughs> and all around of that year, you will see our preparations for moving to the Philippines, getting all the necessary things before going to the Philippines. How are the things? Everything. Maybe it will be next year, maybe, maybe it will be in the next five years. Nobody knows. For now, we are happy here. We are not like pressure to go there like next year or next month that's the good thing about it because of that 2024 is fast approaching me and gwen would like to wish to all of you that it's going to be your year you are going to be better than in the year 2023 i hope you are having the new goals and all those goals you can accomplish during this year just like me with Gwen are having our plans and our goals so guys we wish you all the luck which is in this world thank you guys for watching our video our all videos thank you guys for joining to our channel we really appreciate it stay tuned for more and more content and see you in the next video in the 2024